Hello everyone, welcome on another video of the Davis Tech channel. In this video, we will gonna talk about that how we can fetch and play the video on our Flutter app from the internet. Basically, we will gonna make a kind of video player where we will have the pause button and play button to play the video and we will gonna fetch the video from the internet through the URL. Basically, we, we will have an URL and with help of that URL, we will gonna play the video. So let's implement it. Before I will move forward, I just wanted to say one thing that if you are new on this channel, please hit the subscribe button or if you find this video interesting, please like it. Also share the video to your friend to help me to grow this channel. Thank you. And let me just follow the step. So the first step you have to do is first you have to install a package for the playing a video. So what will be the package name? Let me go on a pubspec.yaml file. Inside the pubspec.yaml file, I have to specify the package name. The package name is video player. With help of that package, we will gonna play the video on our Flutter app. So after specifying the package name, I just hit the control S for saving it. Then automatically the Flutter pub gate is ran and the package is installed successfully. But for your case, if the package is not installed successfully, please run the command of the flutter pub kit. So make sure that you successfully install the package on your project. So the command is flutter pub gate if the command is not automatically ran. Okay. After hitting the save, the flutter pub gate is ran for me. And the second step I had to do after installing the package is inside the Android folder, inside the app directory, inside the source directory, there is a directory called main. Inside the main directory, we have the Android mainfix.xml file. Inside the mainfix.xml file, we have to paste this code. Basically, using this code, we are providing the internet permission. I will give this code, exact code on the description of this video. Please find this code and paste that code inside the Android mainfix.xml file where you have to paste it just after the application tag. You can see it over here. Okay. And hit the save and just cut it. Now we completed the second step. Now let me go on a main.dart file. Inside the main.dart file, you can see that I don't have anything. That's why it's giving an error. I just simply returning a material app here uh, on a main method. I'm returning a my app. My app is a stateless widget inside the my app. I'm just returning a material app and I'm not providing any home. Okay. Because material app have the property home where we have to provide a exact widget, which we want to show over here. So let me create that widget. So I will go inside the uh, let me just first collab this folder Android folder and inside the lib folder. I will gonna create a new file The file name will be video player dot dot Okay Okay, and the uh, file is created and I'm gonna use the awesome flutter estimate to import the material dot dot package You know about that. I use that awesome flutter snippet on my other another series also but if you are a new then you can find the awesome flutter snippet over here on a vs code with help of that i'm creating the snippet so the same package i'm gonna use of the awesome flutter snippet for the creating a stateful widget so here you can see that i created a stateful widget and i'm going to name it video player and with help of the awesome flutter snippet we can create it easily okay now after creating the video player class, which is a stateful widget, I'm going to create a new variable of the video player controller. Basically, we have to create a controller. So let me just create the video player controller. When I click on it, then you can see that automatically the package is imported over here. For my case, it's automatically imported. If for your case, the package is not imported automatically, please import this package. Then only we can use the component are there inside the package. The video player controller component is a part of this video player dot dot file. Okay, so let me create a controller. The, I will give the name as a controller as of now. 
and after creating the video player controller i will create a new variable to hold the video it will be a future type because we are fetching the video from the internet that's why it's a future type and the gener will be void okay i will name it as a video for now so here you can see that we just created a two variable controller and video but we didn't initialize it yet and how we will gonna initialize it you know that the stateful widget comes with the init state and init state automatically call when we import that particular file on some another widget like if i will import this video player over here then when it will run then automatically the init state function will be run so at the time of calling this class automatically the init state is automatically run then the initialization will be successful so let me initialize these two things first i will gonna initialize this controller variable and how we will gonna initialize it we will gonna initialize it with help of video player controller dot network because we are fetching the video from the internet that's why we are using over here a network but at the time of fetching the video from the file system or asset we will gonna use the another parameter i will gonna show that thing on my next video in this video i will gonna show how to play a video from the internet only and here we have to provide the url because we are using the network here we have to provide the url and how we will get that url let me just go on a browser inside the browser here you can see that we have a url which i find on the main documentation page of the flutter and here you can see that the video is playing we will gonna use the same url because it's on the internet and free and i will provide this url on a description to use for you okay so don't bother about it now what i have to do that i have to paste the same url over here on a inverted comma after pasting it what i have to do that just let me put a semicolon over here okay and we initialize the controller with help of this url now we have to initialize this video variable also and how we will gonna initialize it just video equal to with help of this controller this controller i am gonna use and we have another method called initialize with help of this only we will gonna initialize the video variable also now the both controller and video are initialized now we have to use these two things so inside the build method you can see that as of now it's returning the container but i am not going to use it i am going to return the scaffold and inside the scaffold we will have the body parameter so let me use the body parameter inside the body parameter what i will gonna use i will gonna use the future builder why because we are working with the api and we are fetching the data from the internet and because of that we have to use the future builder because it's a sync and await type now inside the builder we have to provide two property so we have two things first one is context which is very important and second is snapshot okay now it will a kind of method so here inside the method i will write condition but before writing a condition the first thing we have to provide before the builder is the future and what will be the future this video because we have to play this video we have to provide that thing on a future okay now inside the builder method i will write in condition the condition will be simply if the snapshot inside the snapshot we will get the video value if the snapshot dot connection state okay if the snapshot connection state equal equal to connection state dot done which means the initialization is successful okay which means we fetch the video and if the initialization is successful then we will gonna return a widget the widget will be a specs ratio why i am using the aspects ratio widget because every video have a different kind of aspect ratio with help of the aspects ratio 
uh, widget, we will match the aspect ratio of the video. And how we will gonna get the aspect ratio of the particular video? So we initialize the video on the controller, and with help of the controller only, we will get the aspect ratio. So here I'm going to use the controller dot value, and after value, here I'm getting the aspect ratio. Now we got the aspect ratio of the video. Now it's time to provide the child of the aspect ratio widget. The child will be a video player. The video player widget comes with the video player package. So we have to provide over here. Now inside the video player, what I have to provide, I have to provide the same controller which we created over here. So here, let me provide the, so I'm getting an error because I made a mistake. Clearly I made a mistake that I created a custom widget that the name of the video player and the video player widget is provided by the this package. So I had to change the custom widget which I created just now. The name I will gonna use is video player. Okay, just me use, find the, all the places where I use the video player name and I'm just going to use the video player custom. For the sake of playing the video currently. So here, when I change the name of the class, then you can see the error is gone because I created the custom widget of the same name that provided by the package. And I will gonna hit the save. And uh, after the if statement, we have to provide the else statement also. So let me just provide the else statement. If the video is not fetched properly, then what we will gonna show? We will gonna show the circular progress bar as we are showing on another video also. So let me return a uh, center widget first because we want to show the circular progress bar on the center of the scaffold. And inside the child, I'm gonna provide the circular progress indicator. Okay, that's perfect. Now let me hit the save and let me import this package. I mean the video player class inside the main dot dot file. And inside the material lab, we had used the same widget which we created, the video player custom widget. Okay. Now, inside the material lab, you know that we have a parameter called home where we assign the widgets. So let me use the home parameter. And in the home parameter, we will gonna assign the video player custom. Player custom here. Okay. When I click on it, then automatically video player dot dot which is our custom widget is imported. Okay, for my case it's already imported. I set up the VS code in this way. If for your case it's not imported automatically, please import it first. I mean this, this widget first. Then we will gonna use it. And I'm going to hit the save. After hitting the save, I'm going to hard reload it because we wanted to make sure to run the init state. And it's circular progress indicator is showing at the time of initializing the video. Then after initializing the video, we can see the, the aspects ratio widget. And inside the aspects ratio widget, we are using the video player widget, which is the widget provided by the video player package. But you can see that it's not playing yet. So we will have to add a button for playing the video. And let me go on a video player. Inside the video player, here is, we have the scaffold. And in the scaffold, you know that we have another parameter called floating action button. Let me use the floating action button for the adding a button. Okay. Make sure you are using the current version of the flutter. Right now I'm using the current version of the flutter is the flutter 1.22.4. So the video player is not working on the other version like 1.75. So make sure that you are using the current version of the flutter to run the video player on your video. And the second thing that I will give the code, this code on a GitHub. So please find the GitHub repo also on the description. Okay, let's continue to add the floating action button. Floating action button, which is the parameter name, and I'm going to use the floating action button widget. Okay, this is the floating action button widget. And inside the floating action button widget, we have the on place, 
and on place we'll take a method and inside the method we will write the logic for playing the video or pausing the video then the second parameter will be of the floating action button is a child inside the child i'm going to use the icon for the playing button icon or pausing button icon so let me just use it right now inside the icon i'm going to use the icons dot play arrow right now hit the save and see the changes here you can see that we have an button and uh, it's the logic is not implemented yet so let me write the logic so all the thing we can control using the controller which we created right now over here so let me write the logic if the controller have a value is playing which means the video is playing at that time what we will gonna do if someone click on a floating action button then we will gonna set the state and we will assign the controller dot pause to pause the video and if it is not the case which means the video is not playing then in the else condition we will just set the state and uh, controller dot play to play a video because right now it's paused and inside the icons we had to change the widget i mean the icon dynamically when hit when a person hit the play button then it will become a pause button when a person click on a pause button then it will become a play button and how we will gonna do that to do that again i'm going to use the controller value is playing which means if the controller dot value is playing which means the video is playing then we have to show the icons dot pause button because the video is already playing if the person click on a plus button which means the controller dot value is playing is null i mean which is not true then we have to show the play arrow button okay let me hit the save and see the changes and let me test it you can see that we can pause the video play the video which means it's working fine which means the purpose of this video is completed now in the second video of the random topic of flutter we will gonna see that how we can import the video from the file system or from the assets till that thank you and happy coding please hit the subscribe button don't forget to like the video and also share the video to your friend thank you 